Now you're playing with power. Super power. Super power. Our top five co-op games on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This is one of my favorite consoles of all time. I think they did such a great job with it. I love the North American version, the purple and the gray. I know some people, you know, from the PAL territories will argue that, but this isn't about that. This is about our top five yes. cash co-op games. There's a lot of fantastic games, and I didn't grow up playing the Super Nintendo at all. I went from NES to N64. So I skipped the Super Nintendo at all. I have no nostalgia for it, but I am slowly starting to love it. It's a fantastic console. A lot of amazing games, a lot of amazing co-op, couch co-op games. Yeah. And our list, I think, is pretty freaking good. Let's just jump into it with number five. Zombies ate my neighbors. Um, I, I know this is technically not Super Nintendo exclusive. Yeah. But I always thought it was, and that's how I play it. Yeah, I and I've always, I, I don't know why, maybe could try convincing me otherwise, but I've always thought this is the slightly better version of the two. I have it on both consoles, but I prefer it on the Super Nintendo, and growing up, it was a Super Nintendo game to yep. me. So 55 undead levels, which I've never even gotten close to. Yeah. But it's a fantastic game. This is also a really fun game, too. If if you're hanging out with someone that's not really super into video games, I think they would like Zombies in yeah. Neighbors. It's a great pick up and play <laughs> game, but then if you really want to spend time with it, there's 55 levels. Yeah, know? yeah, it's it's a it's a long one. Um, it is one that I hope to beat someday. I know me and my buddy, we were into the 40s on the Damn. regular way back in the day. Um, That's wild. Dylan was uh, with the kid's name, but I had a lot of friends that had this game for whatever reason. Uh, my friend Blake, my friend Brandon, my friend Dylan. Like this was a, which it's kind of a, not super expensive, but a little. I don't think it, it wasn't like it wasn't like a common game. I, I don't think it was super common, but for whatever reason, all my friends. I had mean, it. it's a great couch co-op game. Yeah. That's why it's number five in our yeah. list. It's it's still so much fun to just pop it and play. Now moving on to number four. I would rather beat this game in the arcade, but I feel like they did a pretty damn good job yes. with the Sunset Riders port. Sunset Riders, this is also a game that is available on the Genesis, yeah. but I think the Genesis port sucks of Sunset Riders. I like playing it on the Super Nintendo, yeah. it's fantastic. <clears throat> it's a great run and gun style game. We love our run and guns. It's side scroller. We also love cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. And cow doys and cow soys. And, <laughs> and <laughs> it's a fantastic game. And it kind of reminds me of like Gunsmoke a little bit because it's Cowboys, yeah. but it's Super Nintendo and flipped, you know? So yeah. it's, it's a great freaking game. It is fantastic. And, uh, you know, I think it's really fun to play this game and listen to Where Have All the Cowboys Gone by Paula Cole. If you've never done that, it'll take it to the next level. I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> I have either. <laughs> yeah, but you probably would. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, love this game. I also like this game the most on the Super Nintendo. The arcade version is cool, but I love how they took a twin stick shooter and adapted it to a controller. Oh, it's so fantastic. Before it had sticks. Yeah. Like PS4 makes sense, but this is Super Nintendo. Smash TV, Super Let's Smash go. TV. This game is incredible. This is one of my favorite games on the console. This game is so good. It's an arcade game, pick up and play, super quick, get in, yep. get out. Just freaking top down, running and gunning. It is <coughs> incredibly simple, but incredibly good. Like you collect toasters, you collect a car. It's just, it's ridiculous, but amazing. Yeah. It's so uh, good. And the arcade is incredible too. Yeah, it, it's just a super, super fun game. I love this universe that this game's in. If you like Smash TV, stay tuned towards the end of this video because we have some honorable mentions and there's kind of a sequel-ish game. It's one of our honorable mentions that we'll talk about. Ooh. But let's move on to number two. Okay, number two. Probably a lot of people's number one. This is this is uh, one of the best games just in the entire franchise of Turtles. Yeah. That's Turtles in Time. Yep. This is a fantastic beat-em-up. What I love about the Turtles beat-em-ups is there's not friendly fire. So I think I like the Turtles beat-em-ups better than Streets of Rage beat-em-ups. I still like them both, but it's nice because I suck at beat-em-ups, so <laughs> I always accidentally beat up my partner. Yeah, yeah. So this is nice because I can't beat up other turtles. They got rid of that. <laughs> well, I yeah. don't want to like No turtles were harmed. Yeah, I don't want to endanger the turtles. Yeah, yeah. But Turtles in Time, fantastic. Music's great. Plays great. I love how you can pick different turtles. It's 
It's a great co op. It's like it's it is one of the staple co op games yeah, on the console. It stood the test of time. I think most people, uh, to your point, would say it's probably the best Turtles game ever put out. There there are some other good ones for sure. Yeah. This is another one growing up that all my friends seem to have this game. Oh, I mean, great. <laughs> yeah. It, it, so I've played the hell out of it. Um, and being number two, it, it just tells you how good this console is because this is a great beat em up, yeah. one of the best beat em ups of all time. I mean, we have the poster of the game in our game yeah. room and we've had it since we started the channel. Yeah. It's like right behind the TV. Like, it's, yeah. it's incredible. It, it'll, I've played it so much, I've beat it so many times, and it, it, it never fails that, man, if I just want to play some Super Nintendo, at least want to dick around on the console. It's one of the games that we're going to probably yeah, put in. Yeah, it is fantastic. Now, before we go into our number one, we do have some honorable mentions yeah. because this list was really tough to make. Um, I'm gonna start off with one that isn't co-op, <laughs> but, but but it kind it kind of because you want your partner to do it, good. So <laughs> there's a game on the Super Nintendo called Top Gear 2, and it's a racing game where you can upgrade your car, and it's not co-op, but you can do split screen, and you, but you want to you want to both upgrade your cars. Yeah, we spent hours playing this game it's, in a co-op mindset. It's like mindless, just arcade racing. But I, dude, I love this. And game. I want to like, oh, get get new tires, get an engine, get yeah. get all this yeah. stuff. Like, I, and I don't give a shit about cars. <laughs> yeah. But it, this game is fun, and we play it two player, <laughs> so it has to be an honorable mention. I've been playing all that game since I was like freaking ten years old. Yeah, now. I've been playing I, I it since it. you showed it to me. Um, you know, a game I, I mentioned, uh, Smash TV. Um, there's a game that's kind of a, a sequel, if you will, that uh, we haven't played a ton of. But we need to, and I think the game could make this list, and that's Total Carnage. Oh, Total Carnage! Yes, that's a game I haven't uh, played a ton, but I did like it, and that yeah. game is that game is really freaking fantastic and fun. I think that game is <laughs> harder. It feels harder. Yeah, it, no, maybe it because is. I haven't played it as much. But, I think I think it is, but yeah, but, but uh, it's a fantastic game. Another one uh, worth bringing up. Uh, it's another beat 'em up game that I, I think doesn't get talked about enough, and that's Final Fight Three. Ooh, it's yes. so good. Very good, very good beat 'em up. I'm just not a big beat 'em up fan. I like them here and mm -hmm. there, but Final Fight Three I think is one of the best Final Fight games. Yeah, it, it is. is. It is really good. It's a great co-op, and if you're into beat 'em ups, beat 'em ups are like one of the best co-op games <laughs> in styles. So. Yeah, yeah, and then. Uh, uh, the sequel to Zombies Ate My Neighbors, which is so weird that they named it nothing close to that. It's called Ghoul Patrol. Yeah, Ghoul Patrol. It's so a pretty badass game. It's a great sequel, but it's dumb that they called it X so nobody knows what it is. <laughs> yeah. We have it. I haven't spent a ton of time with it, um, but if you like Zombies Ate My Neighbors and that style of game, Ghoul Patrol has to has to go in there. It's yeah. it's fantastic. And now our number one game. It's run and gun. Hands down, we talk about him at oh <laughs> fucking actually shot me. Didn't expect that. Well, hey, right in the nipple, dude. <laughs> well, he was shoulder into the nip. Yeah, right? shoulder so, into the nip. Yeah. But run that's and gun. Alien Wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shoulder see. into the nip. Alien yeah. Wars. Contra three. 3. This game is fantastic. I accidentally no death ran it. Yeah. You did. <laughs> accidentally. I wasn't trying to. Yeah, I remember I didn't even know you did either. I was like, oh, we had a pretty good run there. And you're like, I was hey, like, we? What are you talking I about? Like, I didn't die. I was like, wait a second. I don't think I died. Woo! That's a yeah! awesome run. That's dude. how you freaking kill the game right there. Some stupid ass deaths, but damn. I don't think I died. For real? I don't think I died. Um, <laughs> this game is incredible. Yeah. The music's great. Uh, we are going to work on a co-op no death run on the hard mode. Because we put it on normal mode, yep. you have the playthrough. I think this is my second favorite Contra game. I think Hardcore is my number one yeah. Contra game, and then I think it's Alien Wars. There are a few things in Alien Wars that I don't I don't like, like the split levels. This perspective, perspective levels, level, yeah. Especially when you do it two-player, it's a little weird. But other than that, this game is fan It's I mean, we, we talked about Contra on our NES episode. <clears throat> They're fantastic co-op running gun I'm, games. I'm going to be very interested how we feel about Alien Wars compared to Hardcore after we know Death Run it on hard mode. Yeah, I wonder because, if we <clears> will... <throat> I do, I do love the slide mechanic in Hardcore, which is not in Alien Wars. But I also love that in Alien Wars you can do the double shot, which double is super shot. cheap. It's, but but it's, you can just crush the bosses doing it's that. It's fantastic, dude. And and the fact that there's different, you can play it easy, normal, and hard. Yeah. And hard, there's a different ending. Yep. That's pretty freaking bad. So it'll be interesting when we get that done and all the dust settles, and we're not prisoners of the moment of any game to just compare the 16-bit era. Conference. But right now it's my number. Two. Yeah. Number two Contra game, but number one co-op SNES game. Yeah. It's a freaking hammer of a game. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know what else is a hammer? 
Goose Island, Bourbon County. The goose is loose. The goose is loose. Um, that makes me think of Tiger. Great coffee. <laughs> we've had this beer before and we've reviewed it before, but you know what? Not everybody sees every video and we had this in the fridge, so we're gonna review it again. Yeah. This is the uh, Bourbon County Bananas Fosters edition, which is we've had multiple times. Yep. It's very good. <clears throat> this is a stout Asian bourbon barrels with bananas, almonds, cassia bark, and natural flavors. Comes in at 13.9%. <gasps> Fantastic. Fantastic brew. Um, Incredible. Bourbon County just does not do it wrong. And I, I can't really think of anything different to say than I did in the last time we reviewed this. But one of my favorite variants, I guess my nitpick would be, I want a little bit more banana coming through. Yeah. I get um, a lot of the a, a lot of the almonds. Yeah. Uh, but banana's a weird flavor. So I get why they didn't. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it too. But again, my favorite variant that I think I've ever had. I mean, I think this is the... We drank this more than any other variant, yeah. I believe. We've yeah. had this so many times this year just on accident. Well, and we probably wouldn't have had it again, but this was a gift uh, to Chris in the game room from our good buddy Brian. Yes. He came over to play some Tiger Woods. Whoa, let's go Tiger Woods 2007, by the way. One of the best ones. And he brought this and said, here you go. Yeah. And we said, thank you. And we'll make sure we have it in an episode. <laughs> and it's, it's fantastic. I love Bourbon County. I love this variant. I think it's my favorite variant, but it's hard to tell because I wait a year before having the other ones. Yeah. But this one is very good, very sweet, very smooth. This is a dangerous freaking beer. Delicious. But it's negative degrees outside, so it's nice to have a fucking it's warm a, it's stout. It's nice warmer. Yeah, yeah for so sure. It is stout season, for sure. It is it literally good. like negative 34 wind chill. We have yeah. the craziest weather week, but we're still here. We're still making content. In the comment section below, let us know what's your top five couch co-op SNES games. So many to pick from. I think our list is pretty dialed in. I'm think pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. And these are games that we <coughs> like, freaking love and play all the time. You know. The good thing is about these top fives is they're ever changing. We could film this freaking thing again. In, in a year or two and it could be completely different. Yeah, and what if we discover a new game? You know, it's like, oh, wow, but, this is now my favorite. <clears throat> As of 2024, that's our top five Super Nintendo games. We always appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. We'll catch you next time, right here on the one and only Bananas Fosters Drinking Gaming Off the Grid. <laughs>